Hey, my car cut it off, but hey, y'all, it's your girl, and I'm back for another video. That's mm -hmm. strong, Mama Christy. Yeah, I'm trying to pop this thing up. Usually, I do this before I come on here, but I just wanted to come and show you my new hair. So, I did take that other hair out, and you know what? I like this hair. I like that it's big, it's full. It looks like natural hair should look. And it's popping. What you mean? My lips are ashy though. I'm trying not to be ratchet Kim on here. Cause I know I be I talk all crazy. But you know, I wanna be the real me on camera. When I'm at work and I wanna be professional and I wanna talk and act professional as my sister says i have this uh voice that i do i don't know what she's talking about but she said i have a voice that i do just came home i need to pick up some stuff before i run out to this home visit but yeah so this hair is um <clears throat> jamaican bounce it is in a color 99 j and I like it. So 99J is like a purple, purple-ish color. But um, see, this is what I'm talking about. I like full hair. I like big hair. I don't like flat hair. That's why I love my natural hair so much. And I would never alter it in any way again. Um, I like it. It's big. It's like me. It's bold. It's beautiful. It's popping. So... Yeah, I just love this hair. I'm really feeling this hair today. And I just wanted to come and show you my new look. Um, I've had this hair before, not in this color. But it lasted for, uh, I think I kept it in for about, probably two, two to three months. It does get bigger. It will get bigger than this. That's why I didn't manipulate the curls too much. I just let them stay like this um you know this is how it look coming straight out of the pack because over time they will start to unravel and frizz a little bit so they, it, this hair will grow it will expand so if i need to take some out so it doesn't look too big and you know unruly then i will but um for now i just love it i like it i think it's so pretty look at my pearl earrings so pearls are my thing too i also didn't mention that in my all about me video but i just love pearls i love how they look on me so any kind of pearl earrings necklaces things like that i just try to buy them i have a couple different you know ones i mean it's pearls but they all look different and i just love them i have some bigger earrings than this i have some smaller ones i just really really love pearls um amora i got her into wearing pearls sometimes she wear her little pearl earrings um that's just our thing all right everybody um i don't think i'm gonna record anymore today i had something on my heart that i kind of wanted to talk about um because i've just been seeing a lot of things not only on youtube but just in life you know in life in general everybody think they are the perfect parents but what is the perfect parent i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that because i know i don't do everything perfect um, I try to do the best that I can with my kids. Oh, my eyes look red, but you know what? It is what it is. Because I don't get that much sleep. Yeah. The two-year-old, she does her thing. I mean, she'll sleep some nights, some nights she won't. But, hey, what can we do? We can't. <laughs> it's nothing I can do. But, anyway, um, all of these people give advice, tell parents what they should and shouldn't be doing with their kids you know what every child is not the same every parent is not the same what works for your children may not necessarily work for mine so i just kind of get upset um of course there are some things that i don't agree with but i don't say anything i see a lot of people give in strong mommy chrissy and my jazzy life and um lives life even though i have done a couple videos on her it really wasn't on like her parenting or anything like that it was based on like her relationship with gerard and just trying to have fun so i did um two videos about her but it wasn't nothing bashing her or anything like that because i don't believe in doing that um <clears throat> i try to be a positive person so i don't believe in all that bashing people talking bad about people 
talking about this children it's one thing to talk about that person but do not talk about people's children and i see a lot of people say well <clears throat> is youtube or is social media facebook instagram whatever if they put it out there then i can comment uh yeah they did put it out there but you are not perfect yourself. You're not doing everything right with your kids either. It's the only difference is you pick and choose what you want to put out there. Which I do think that sometimes um, everything isn't for the camera. Everything isn't for social media, Facebook, Instagram and all. And YouTube. But um, that's what they choose to put out there. But gosh, just don't act like you are so perfect. Because I'm sure... They are brave enough to put it on camera. There's even things about my life. I record certain things that I want to show. I'd rather do a lot of talking videos or showing me than my kids because I see what comes along with that on YouTube. Because um, everybody thinks differently. Everybody are going to do different things with their kids. Sometimes... Um, you can see something you don't agree with. You don't always have to comment on it. I mean, I see stuff all the time and I'm like, oh no, I would never do that. Or oh, why would she do this? Or why would he do that? But it doesn't bother me enough to be like getting on there and bashing that person. You can read something and you can move on with your life. And I don't think a lot of people have grasped that concept because they hide behind the internet. They hide behind these computers, phones, keyboards, or what have you. And then they bash people and would never in a million years go into somebody's face and say that stuff. No, you're saying it because you're on YouTube or you're behind this, um, the in hiding behind the internet. You would never say that to that person in their face. So let's all just, if you wouldn't say it to their face, don't type it on social media. And um, just remember that you're not perfect either. We all just try to do the best we can with what we have day to day. And that's just my motto. I'm just getting along going with the flow, trying to get through it, learning how to parent every single day. Because guess what? What works now for your three, four, five-year-old? Is it going to work when they're 10, 15, and you know, whatever? So we're learning every single day. So just leave these people alone. Let them just do the best that they can. You do what you do in your household, with your family. And you just let them do what they're going to do. Because at the end of the day, they say, oh, I'm giving them advice. Well, I, I never heard any of them ask for advice. And even just people that I know personally and people talking about them. and They never ask for your advice. So be quiet. <laughs> Nobody asks you for that. Keep it to yourself, you know? So, because um, it's something we all can be doing something better or differently. So, um, yeah, let people live their lives. Let them do what they want to do. It's not hurting you. As long as they're not coming up in my house trying to tell me what to do and it doesn't affect me oh we good do what you do baby it's okay but yeah that's just my two cents all right everybody have a wonderful day i'm loving my new hair all right bye